So finally, just uh, as um, a summary, this book uh, has been about collective intelligence in organizations, or rather knowledge integration and what creates whether that knowledge integration is intelligent or not. And just to summarize the, the book, I'm actually going to go back to the summary of the first lecture. So what we're saying in this book is that increasing specialization and complexity in our society leads to an increased need to coordinate knowledge in ever more complex problem solving. More complex organizations will, of course, mean more complex coordination. The overall purpose of all organizations are to enable knowledge integration. That's our perspective. So we believe that if we're going to develop our understanding of what kind of coordination we need in organizations, it's knowledge we need to look at. What, how knowledge, what knowledge is and how it works and how, it, it's, uh, how we work with that in teams and or at team level, how people integrate knowledge. <clears throat> and therefore, we believe that integration of knowledge at microsystem level, we can see that that can be done with a varying degree of quality. So then we need to understand what is quality in this process. But it makes it possible to talk about microsystems and organizations as having different degrees of collective intelligence. So you can say that what we mean here is that the quality level of this knowledge integration, that is the intelligence of the team or the organization. So knowledge integration in complex problem solving needs cooperation and interaction between individuals to an extent that only partly can be controlled by organizational hierarchies, structures and processes. And if we accept this fact, then we understand that in addition to the things we can do using structures, we would need to develop our individual team players and their skill in adding their part of the coordination needed for the organization. Collective intelligence appear in microsystems. It's meetings between individuals within an organizational context. And it's therefore elusive to traditional organizational structures and management systems. And what we've been trying to do is then using an understanding of what knowledge is and then what knowledge integration is to show what factors are there that we need to develop both our organizational strategies for, but also develop our individual skills and our leadership skills in, in supporting if we want to create organization that to a higher extent is supported by the coordination of individuals. Um, and we believe this is a process that we could call collective intelligence or collective intelligence at micro system level. So that was a summary of what this book is about. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and didn't get too uh, tired of me. Uh, but uh, you can also, of course, uh, uh, combine this with reading the book and get some, some additional thoughts on, on everything. But um, thank you and goodbye.